Do you remember this kanji over here? Daiko. Good Daiko? guess. Good guess. That is dai, right? Like daiichi. And that is ko for kodomo. But this is actually deshi. Deshi. Majitsushi no deshi. Do you happen to know what a deshi is? We're saying the apprentice of the magician or yep. the magician apprentice. Yep. Deshi apprentice. Um, can you read the sentence for me? Hi, ore wa deshi da yo to eta. He's um he quoted, he said, My apprentice. Close. That just says I It's my apprentice. I am an apprentice. My apprentice would be ore no deshi. Ah. Ore wa desi is I am an apprentice, you know. So yeah, su super close. Ore no desi, ore wa desi. Ah, he he proclaimed himself to be an apprentice. So so. And nobody have never say that. He just say it. <laughs> so this guy. Um, do you remember what tame means? Tame mono no tame mono no kao tame no wazuka na douka. Hmm, what did we say was it kind of uh, a was, few amount a, a, yep. a, um, a, a little bit of coins mm -hmm. so tabemono no tabemono no o kao tame in order to buy food the money that was meant the little bit of money that was meant to buy food yep a small amount of money for the purpose or for of the buying purpose food. To the height. That that's the same sentence in English. Okay. So this do you happen to recognize this kanji? Kotaru to answer, to reply Perfect. back. Do you remember what Oto Suru tells us? Suwaroto Stara. What is this telling us? Suwaro. Suwaro. Was it suwato or to sit down or something like yes. that? Yes. It is from suwaru to sit. But what do you think this oto suru is telling us with it? Oto suru. Is to sit. He's quoting. He's quoting the action. That's a really good guess. So this right here, o is volational form. So and then to suru is a really interesting grade for it to mean to attempt. So the sentence right here is suwaro to shitara neburu ni ure o tsukamare tomare tomerare ta. So I attempted to sit, but nobody caught my arms and stopped me. So this is used hey. when you attempt, but you don't actually succeed. How do you say kotairu into volational form? This is a do verb. So a little bit different than the o verb we saw earlier. So normally uh u verb would be like from ru, ru to ro but this Hi. is a ru verb so kota e yo yeah perfect kota e yo nice um uh, do you remember how this guy's read it's read saki ahead perfect ahead yep so right here it's destination but it actually means ahead or in front of in the next context that we'll be seeing it can you read the sentence for me no, no ni. This no ni mean however. Yes. Dorobo wa saki ni kotaeta. Hi. So a lot of times, even though is a better way to translate this, just because it has a little bit of a whiny meaning in English, because it's very whiny in Japanese. Hi. Um. Subject is I. Subject is I. Even though I attempted to answer, the thief did it before me. Exactly. The thief answered before, the thief answered before I managed to answer. Yep. Perfect. So shimao is something you know one of the meanings of. What's one of the meanings of shimao? To do something completely. Yes. And kind of has a little bit of an oh no connotation. The second meaning of shimao is to put something away. Put it away. There's no negative connotation if it's to put something away. <laughs> Just put it away. <laughs> so, shimao. 
So the next Thank sentence, you. we're actually going to see two shimals, meaning one's <laughs> going to be the, oh no, and the other one's going to be to put something away, meaning so. It's going to be kind of fun. I, um, I would imagine that it would be yeah hard to kind of pick that up in context. They, yeah, it, it can. <laughs> anyway, what does yeah. tachitomaru mean, do you think? We got tomaru and tatsu. Hachi domaru. Hi, got some rendaku. Hachi to stand. Domaru is to stop. Hi. So you might to stand use this in one place. Basically. Basically, if you were walking and you decided to freeze in place, you would probably say tachi domaru, which means to stand and stop. So just specifying you're continuing the stand, but you also stopped what you're doing. Um Hi. okay. So let's go read this long sentence from the book. So we got this shimai and this shimao. Simple meanings. Ah, orega. Deshi. Deshi da yo. To. To sekaku. Kotai yo. しまったしまうためにしまうためにたちどまったはい so sekaku is a word i forgot to tell you what it meant it means to go out of your way to do something sekaku to go out of your way so ah orega de shira yo he say yeah i'm the apprentice Uh, to quoting the word before. Uh, sak yo no ni. Even even though I attempted to go out of my way to answer before neburi, mm. right? Sakini. Neburi sakini. So neburi is before, not me. Remember, I otoshtad. That means I did not, I attempted to do this. I probably did not succeed. So, nebody. I attempted to say. Sakini. So, but, nebody, but in nebody before me. Yeah. We could say, nebody say it first. Mm -hmm. And nebody say, soda. Ote shimai. And how did Khan feel about nebody saying, soda? Instead of letting uh, Khan say, ah, deshi da yo. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. What does Khan feel about? He he was disappointed here. Yeah, he was, he, was he, was, he was really excited to be like, I'm the apprentice. But nope, hi. nobody's like, yep, that's him. Um, and then mm -hmm. um Saifu what happened next? There's something else the, nobody does. Um, shimata tameni. Shimau tameni. He put away the shaifu. Himo, and we said the himo was a, a string. So this is a, a a string wallet. Yep. The wallet that that are strings. Full soul. He put it away for the purpose of. Right. It could no, be no, that. No, no, no. For this the is contextually. Purpose... Wait, what is it saying here? For the purpose of putting the string wallet wallet away, he's come to a standing stop. Is that right? Yep. Basically, it's kind of the opposite in this context. Um, Tame has both meanings, so it's very contextual. Basically, he stops for the purpose of putting away his wallet versus putting away his wallet in order to stop. So basically, he's acting like an old man. Um, he does have a cane, so it does make sense why it might be a little hard to put his wallet away. Uh, so maybe he has to like stick it in this deep in his pocket or something. So he has to freeze to put his wallet away after he has um hired Benetto. Uh, hired the bodyguard. So, on this Tamini point, this Tamini, as we've seen it before, it was modifying the thing that come before it, right? Yeah. 
So for putting away guy. the wallet, he stops. He stops. So, okay, okay. So it it was doing the same thing. It wasn't changing. It wasn't grammatically. It didn't do anything weird, did it? Mm -hmm. it it's not doing anything weird grammatically. Um, tame can also mean because. So he stopped because he put away his wallet, which also makes sense hmm. in English. I think he just had it like mixed up in your brain, which is super easy because things get all over the place. Especially says in English, we kind of start our sentences with like the tames and karas rather than really ending them. Like I'll say, because I like pie, rather than saying, I like pie because like, uh, kind of like hurts your brain to think Hi. about it. Um. Okay, kanji check. Do, 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 do. What's this word? Futoi ude. Yeah, futoi ude. Perfect. Futori ude. Hi. Um, how do you think you read? Shin. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. How do you read that word? I would like to say shinkau. That's a good guess. This actually does have rengaku on it. So it's actually shingao. Shingao. So, how? My okay. fresh face. Yes, a, a new face. So this is used to mean someone you don't know, a a um a newcomer, a brand new acquaintance. Shingao. Shingao. Hi. Can you read the sentence right here in the bold? Nao. Nao. Can't remember this one. That's um na nore. Na nore. Na nore. Hi, do you remember what nanore meant? Nao nanore. Nao nanore. Tell me your name. Exactly. Tell me your name. Perfect. No, um, no this word no ended to put with, on, right? No. Uh, noru is to put on. You're uh, specifically to get on, like to write on something, which is a little bit weird. Write your name toward me. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it literally is. Tell me your name. Christen me with it. Let me know your name. Right. Uh, this word ended with gao. What do you know? What it started with? Shin. Yep. Shin, Shin gao. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? Shin gao no yojinbo wa aika ita aika ita. Na. Uh, the ties up there is accidentally. It doesn't mean anything because that was messy. Nanika, is it nani? Yep, nani, nanika ita. So, nanika yeah. ita. What? What was? What was? What was? So nani is what? Nanika is a different meaning. Any, any. So so something. <laughs> and this ita is from EU to say. You're right. right. It is EU to say. Good job guessing that context. So to say okay, so something. He's... Say something about the new. The new. Let's look at the particle. Um, we got wa right here for the yojin bo. Uh, you, you're right. The new face. The new bodyguard. He say something. Exactly. Perfect. Yep. So new bodyguard, basically, literally a bodyguard. I do not know. <laughs> Brand new bodyguard. I don't know this guy. Shingao no yojinbo. Perfect. Um, so kagamu is to lean over. Kagamu. What is the te form is of that, kagamu? Yeah. Is that happen to be the same word for to to um how do you say it? Uh, when when you gardening you you uh you take the what I forgot the word for it. The, um, I have you no tilt idea. the soil. You I'm not the sure soil. what that is, but horu, which is to dig, does contain that in there, but has a hand with it. Hi. This is to uh, dig in general. Horu. Dig. But this one is kagaru, which is... Yep. Kagamu, to lean. Kag to lean. Yeah. So you okay. can't think if you're digging, you have to crouch over to reach the dirt. <laughs> um, what is a te form of kagamu? Kagamu. Kagatte. Good guess, but mu is actually nde. Mm -hmm. Kakande. You're right. You're right. You're right. Kakande. Hi. Can you read the sentence for me? 
、シンガオの予人棒は、かがんで、かがんだ。He, um, the new face bodyguard was leaning, or he leaned against. Perfect. Well, not against him. He leaned just in. Leaning. Yeah. Kind of like lean in. It's just、yes. leaning in general.、Uh, lean in is a word we're going to see in a little bit. You know what an otona is? An adult. Perfect. An, an adult. Do you know what the imperative form of sudu? Imperative form means it's going to end with e or ro. Imperative form. E or ro. Sudo? Or shiro. I'm sorry. Shiro. Yep. Shiro. Perfect. Shiro. Nice. Good job. That's an irregular verb, so it's hard. So, otona actually shows up in the adjective otonashi, which you'll normally actually see as an adverb at otonashiku.、Um, hey. This basically means literally like behave like adult, but it, it's used for like good children that are quiet, keep out of the way, you know, that behaving themselves. So, this means like behave yourself, basically. Behave. Otonashi. Without the e. Oh no, with the ku.、Uh, oh no, it, 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 otonashi ku. Hi. So, otonashi, it is an e adjective, but you will most commonly see it as an adverb, which means you add ku and drop the e. Otonashi ku. For example,、hi. can you read the sentence for me? Ore wa otonashi ku shiro. Behave yourself. Man, toita. And I say, I, I say, behave yourself. Perfect.、Um, next is the word、um, sasayaku, which is to whisper. Sasayaku. sasayaku. Pretty funny kanji. You got one mouth and three ears. Sasayaku. Sasayaku. Sadly, the book doesn't use the kanji, so you don't have to learn it. Can you read this for me? Um, Ienai yo ni sasayaku. Why does he keep on doing that? Gotta be like a glitch in my、like、keyboard because it should be Kiko. Kiko e n a i I don't know where the co keeps on going. Hi. Kiko e n a i yo ni sasayaita. So he,、uh, he was whispering. At it seems, it seems like he was whispering so as mm, wait, wait, Kiko and I cannot hear, cannot hear, not possible to hear. Yo, ni, he was whispering as if he was whispering in a way that was not possible to hear. Basically, yes, this is what it's saying. So, yo, ni can mean as if for like similes and stuff. But there's a second meaning that's also、um, guessed by like contextly、um, that I think I've vaguely touched on on a different line when it turned out that sentence was not really, it was a little bit, it was like、um, to be late. But anyway, the other meaning is basically for, but like seems like. So basically, to whisper in order to not be heard. To whisper、uh, as so if it it's for the purpose, kind of, as if for. This is in the sense of, in, in, in the sense of a tamini.、Mm -hmm. Very similar to tamini. But it was, this case is a yoni. Yeah.、Uh, tame feels more like concrete, is what I'd say. Like it's 100% for the purpose, kind of. Yoni is、mm -hmm. basically like saying as if for rather than just for. As if for. Hi. So it's, it's from the perspective of,、uh, of an observer. Yes. This yo ni is always from the perspective of, of an observer. Yeah. Whereas、I'm... tame ni is from the, from the perspective of. I think anybody can use tame ni. As well. I think tame ni, anybody、right? can use right. tame.、Uh, tame has a feel、like、a little bit like logic, I would say. So a third person could use it、uh, or like a general statement. But normally I do think、right, it's for、um, first person. But I think it's not necessarily restricted as long as there's logic、um, involved or someone told you.、Um, so we just saw kagamu. Now it's kagami komu. Adding this komu. What is komu added thing? 
get in. Yep. So the lean in. in. <laughs> to lean so in. Kagamu is just to lean in general. Kagamikomu is to lean in. So sometimes, you know, you're old and you just want to like put your hands on your shoulders and just kind of randomly lean. But if you're talking to somebody, you want to lean in toward them, you might kagamikomu rather than just kakamu. To lean into I... something. To lean towards. You remember what a kobushi was? Kanbo no kobushi kurai no chisana ishi na no ni mono sugoku omoi. Kanbo no kobushi. Kobushi kurai no. A thumb? Good guess. I did kind of draw something like that. Fist. Yep. <laughs> Kobushi. Kobushi. So Kobushi fist. is fist. So this sentence is saying a, a stone, even though the stone is as small as like around the size of a fist of a baby, it is super duper heavy. Kobushi, a fist. Um, so let's go read this line. Hi. Shingao no yo chimbo wa kagami konda. Um, the new bodyguard lean in perfect nice you know what a ni nigiri shimeru means awadete madoseki wo nigiri shime pocket no oku ni tsukomu to hikari wa sutto kieta nigiri shimeru uh, that's in a panic. Be in a panic. Ah. Sounds like a food. Sounds like something mm. you eat. Nigiri is food, but not with that kanji. Uh, ni nigiri from nigeru. <laughs> <laughs> this is to uh really another ugly hand right here. You know, hands of the fame of existence to oral artist. <laughs> <laughs> this is um ni ni um nigiru is to um grab something basically and nigishimeru is like to squeeze so to grab and squeeze yeah. but yeah isn't an, isn't yeah. a nig isn't the food called nigiri is yep. it's like a ball of rice that you knead it into a ball it is you it grasp specifically it and you squeeze it um, into a ball i believe nigi is a triangle one Right. Oh, I see. Okay. Think ball shapes not common. Though it's not not common, you know, in anime they always got the funny looking ones. Um uh nigiri I, I, for a rice ball. I nigiru. have no idea what the kanji is. Nigiri. Nigiru is to to grab and to squeeze, yes. right? Uh nigi shimeru is to grab and squeeze. Shimeru is like strangulation to strangle. So strangle, grabbing, I... to squeeze. Nigiru is just a grab to have your hand around, basically. Um, can you read this for me? Igure no kimi wa nigita kobushi o futta. So... The uh, the close fist. Mm -hmm. I thought Nigita's kind of also close... helping with that. So basically, my fist, I'm the like, cl... my fist is being like gripped inward, basically. Right. My my grip fist, my folded fist. Yeah. <laughs> the fo the grip fist of the Twilight Lord. Uta is to fly, right? To f um, that's tobu, but this can be really. Uh, I can see where you got that. Futa is to wave. Furu. So this is he saying he waving his fist. Yeah, he's waving his fist. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> uh, next, this kore mi yogashini, big ass word. It means showy, like the word. It's too big, too showy. Kore mi yogashini. So very like obnoxiously doing something. Okay, so here is our last line of the day. Let's go read this long at last sentence. Hi, ore wa kon. I am kon. 
と、な、な、が、とゲロ、なの、なのたら。なのたら。信号の、よ、人望は、俺の、方に、方にか、方にかがみ込み。眠りには、聞こえないように、後なしくしてろ。を支え、て。にぎ、にぎ、にぎた、こぼ、こぶしを。これみよ、これみよがしにふた。これみよしにふた。Okay. So he saying I am con do you know what the Tara is telling us? Tara. Tara is um is this? Tara is when when I do when I do this. Yep. So when I tell him my name, the what did the Yojin Bo do? The new face Yojin Bo. Oreo no Oreo Hone Kagadmi call me. He leans in. Yep. He leans what in? He, he, leans in. No he, he leaned in towards my directions, Perfect. my whole knee. So apparently, then, when you were talking about earlier about nigiri, the food, uh, the kanji is nigiri is the same to clutch. It is literally um, the clutch sushi. The food that you sushi. can hold. It is, it is sushi that has been... <laughs> <laughs> More you know. The grip, the grip food. We squeeze the food sushi. that you grip. Wow, who would have thought that? I did not. I, <laughs> I was like, they I just knew happened it to be the same. I keep thinking, Nig <laughs> but I was wrong. Niggity, how does it sound so sim familiar? Huh. Um, That's easy to remember the word then. Okay, I, so yep, that part's right. So what what happens next? He leans in, ni wa kikoi nai. and Yoni, so as not to be heard by who? By Neburi. Hi. So as not to be heard by Nevri, he leaned in towards me. Yep. And he whisper. He whisper. Ato na shikutero, be a be a decent. <laughs> be, Behave yourself. Be an adult. Ota yeah. Na <laughs> yeah. Be a good boy. Yep. Be a good boy. Nigi nigita nigita, <laughs> and he he close his he grip his fist. Yep. And he waves it in a very <laughs> showy He's way. Behave yourself. <laughs> so, Kore mi yo ga shi ni futa. He waved it. Yep. Super showy like. His fist. So. Showy like. So like, like, the, like uh, my like fist he, will hit your face. Smash him. Is... Oh, so. <laughs> Yep. Hi. And that is where <laughs> we're going to drop for the day. Um, any questions before we go? Oh, that's the wrong question. Hi, no question. Cool. See ya. Oh, I do have a question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's not related to class. Oh, cool. <laughs> I saw like an 